Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instruction on completing the task at hand. Visit my YouTube channel and watch my disclaimer video. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find the information you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. If you got a Volvo 850 XC70 uh, or V70, whatever, up until the 2000 model, and you're up north, chances are your bumper's loose, hanging down, unless you've already uh, replaced your bumper mounts, the, the bumper brackets, rather. These things have a little flaw of a design in them, and they rust out, and they are totally not supporting the bumper. The bumper is supported by the plastic, and the bumper frame that goes through the bumper skin, but the... Uh, I don't know why they won't fall off. They just won't. Anyway, when I got my car, it was these two bumper brackets were rusted out. And I had a gap under my tailgate to my bumper skin. So I'm going to show you how to get this uh, bumper skin off. And then show you how to take the bumper off uh, so that you can replace these brackets if you want. In a lot of cases, you could actually walk over to the car, grab the bumper, and lift it up and watch them rise up and down. If you come down under the car and look back up at the brackets, these are the brackets that are normally rusted out. I guess since they're sitting down here low and this metal's resting on them, water gets trapped in there or salt chips up this end of the bracket and these things start rusting out because water can uh, be retained up here. Now what I did when I fixed mine, I cut a groove from into this aluminum part of the bumper uh, across here so that if water settled in there it could actually drain out and I did replace the brackets. So let me show you how to get the bumper off of this car. Here's a picture of a bracket that is rusted through. You can see the tailpipe, then the bracket right above it. A better close-up of that bracket rusted out. These are the tools I used to get the rear bumper off. I had a breaker bar just in case the 14 millimeter bolts were tight on the bumper. I had a T25 for the lower screws in the mud flap area, something to pry a little bit, some snips to snip the little uh, rivets loose, and you need the 10 millimeter driver if you got that Volvo 850 and some other snips there. These are the special plastic coated rivets that Volvo use. In their mud flap area, you'll need uh, either four or six of these when you're taking off the rear bumper. Uh, but anytime you're dealing with these bumpers in these mud flap areas, splash pan for the wheel area, you'll need these plastic coated rivets. They're a little bit more expensive at the dealer, uh, so try to order them in advance online through one of your parts suppliers. Anytime you order something from one of them, um, you may want to order 10 of these just to have them around. They're a lot cheaper from them than they are from the dealer. First thing you do on both sides is take loose these rivets. These Volvos have these plastic coated rivets. You got two here, then you got a T25. I didn't take the wheel off. I backed the car up on ramp so I could get under it easy. But take those three things loose on either side. I cut these loose with wire cutters or some sort uh, snip them off however you want. They're, they are aluminum rivets coated with plastic. Once you got these three fasteners loose, if you're dealing with an 850, the next thing you do is go behind this splash guard and there's a 10 millimeter nut up there that you take loose. This uh, V70 doesn't have that. Then on the 850s, you come inside this side, pull up the floor panel, and you'll have a 10 millimeter bolt under here that you take off. The V70 doesn't have that either. Next thing you do is pull this, uh, I think it's a 14 millimeter bolt out of both of these brackets. Even if the bracket is rusted out down here, 
the top of the bracket has the nut side in it so you'll still need to pull this on mine these bolts just sheared off and they broke they didn't unscrew but you got to get them out either way there's one on both sides okay so this is how long the bolt is i just got it out of that bracket now i got to get the one out of the other side of the bracket now usually as in this car the tailpipe's in the way so you need to take the muffler loose or at least take the tip of the uh, tailpipe off so you can get that bolt out what i did i just took my hanger loose from the muffler and got it from under there that way okay i got the bolt out of this side what i had to do was pry the, the tailpipe to one side to get it off now this bumper should just slide off from the back okay okay i gave the bumper a couple of tugs from the bottom and it did slide right off so there you have it there's the brackets that rust out up north see as you can see it's got dirt and sand and stuff collected in it and it just rusts out right there in that in that uh, bend of it on both sides so if somebody needs a good set of brackets out of the salvage yard i could get them here i don't know what they'll charge for them what i normally uh, do is charge entry fee to the junkyard 25 bucks for my time and then whatever the parts cost to pull and ship them heck it may be cheaper to get them from the dealer i imagine they'll charge me eight bucks to walk out of here with these brackets and you may be able to get uh, a new set of brackets for 30 40 bucks from the dealer but anyway and this is the inside of the bumper and you can take some torque screws and go down the line and take the uh, screws out but what i did on my bumper i flipped it over so that i had access to the bottom and i cut a groove from the bolt hole out to the edge so that if water got in there it would hopefully drain out uh i'm in the south now and now i'm in the desert so i'll probably never have problems with these brackets again but that may help uh eliminate the problem for you guys now when you're going back on with the bumper with these uh, V70s, the 850s has a screw in these two wings, but the V70s have these uh, channels in the plastic. So when you go to put this back on, you're going to have to make sure that that channel lines up with the bracket that's on the side of the car. So here you see the side of the car has a bracket, and it's kind of got a wide opening there to hopefully catch those uh those fins inside that bracket and guide it on in there one on the top one on the bottom so make sure you get your sides lined in there push it on so that the uh, aluminum part of the bumper fits in your bracket and then your bolt will come up through the bottom of the bracket and go all the way through the bumper and it'll hit this nut that's a part of the bracket there now, to take these brackets off, you remove these two 14 millimeter bolts. I'll go ahead and do that because I think I know somebody that needs these brackets. All right, here are those two brackets laying on the ground. As you can see, the bolt holes that bolted to the subframe are elongated so you can make adjustments to how high your bumper is against your tailgate, especially if you had any kind of damage to your subframe mounts. Here's the uh, subframe mounts that those two brackets are bolted to those bolts were not real tight on there uh, barely tight at all and there's no washers in between the uh, subframe and the brackets but there's washers uh, built onto the screws that screw the uh, brackets onto the subframe so there you have it i got the bumper off probably about a 15 minute job and uh, whenever you go back on you'll need those plastic rivets so make sure you have those rivets before you pull it off so you can get it back on if you feel that this information was beneficial please like it and share it with your social media friends you can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that i post visit my channel i have all types of do-it-yourself videos there 
You can leave questions here and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.